All right, so I'm about to change the fuel filter on my uh, 2008 Ford Focus. This should be about the same for 2008 to 2011 models. And what I'm using today, and I recommend to anybody who's doing this or has one of these cars get one of these, it's a workshop manual made by Ford, written by Ford. These things are cheap, way better than a Haynes or a Chilton. Not that those are bad manuals to begin with, but these are coming straight from the manufacturer. And you have so much more material that they go into detail on as composed to a Haynes or a Chilton, which are a third of the size. Anyways, let's get started. So we're starting here. Remove the two pin type retainers and the right hand A pillar lower trim panel. Disconnect the inertia fuel shutoff switch, electrical connector. Start the engine and allow it to idle until it stalls. After the engine stalls, crank the engine for approximately five seconds to make sure the fuel system has been released. Turn the ignition switch to off. Then when this is complete, you just reconnect it. So of course, these are just plastic threaded screws here. And you just remove them like this. There's that one. So now we just gotta pull this thing off, which it should just pop out. Okay, so this is the shutoff switch that they're talking about. So just grab your flathead. We're just gonna kind of pop that tab a little bit. These you wanna be careful with. As plastic ages, it becomes pretty brittle. There we go, just like that. So now we're gonna start the car, let it run until it quits. And to quit, I'm gonna do this a couple times. And that's it. Fuel system, according to the book, has been depressurized. Let's get started with the fuel filter. So they just want you to uh, release the fuel system pressure, which we've done. Disconnect fuel tube to fuel filter, quick connect coupling. Fuel supply tube to fuel filter, quick connect coupling. And the fuel return tube to fuel filter coupling. You're still gonna have residual fuel, we knew that. Remove bolt in the fuel filter and bracket assembly. To install, reverse the procedure. There might not be pressure in the system, but there's still gonna be fuel in it. So let me get everything situated real fast, get on the creeper, get some safety glasses on, and then uh, I'll show you guys the next step. All right, so under the car, about halfway up is the fuel filter. It's just right in front of the gas tank, but there it is. So what I'm gonna do is just remove that bolt right there in the middle of the screen. We're gonna see how much we can take this thing down. I don't know how much it's gonna drop because of the uh, fuel lines, but we'll see what we can do. All right. It's an eight millimeter. So I'm gonna pry this one back a bit. There it is. And it's so drippy drippy into the bucket. And same thing with the other two. You just gotta kinda work them a bit to get them off. So I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Getting those two fuel lines off, especially the green one, which uh, is this one right here, closest to the bracket, it's not easy. What I had to do was use a combination of my favorite screwdriver here and pull down one of the sides of the tabs and then kind of work blind and go up and pop the other one out like that. You gotta get crafty with it, um, but unfortunately I was not able to get that on camera. So kind of a bear to do it, but you can do it if you just uh, work at it a little bit and take your time. So I've got it oriented the correct way. That is the fun part. And getting these stupid lines back on. Somehow click down. Green one's on. The red one is too. 
I need to push up the tab on the green one. Ford couldn't have made this any easier, of course. Their infinite wisdom. But of course, subcompacts are disposable vehicles to begin with. Okay. So now I'm just gonna pull on these, make sure they ain't gonna come off. Because remember, this is a pressurized system. So now just to sink that small eight millimeter bolt back in. And I just do this by hand at first because it makes it a little bit easier. Not getting a damn ratchet up there. Now we're gonna reconnect this plug here. There we go. And we're gonna have to prime the pump. this a couple times then we'll check it for leaks once it's running no dripping that's good this thing would drip pretty quick like I said it's a pressurized system so if there's any leaks it'll come out hope you guys enjoyed this video and hopefully I get a little bit better gas mileage that thing looks like the original fuel filter. I doubt this has ever been changed. Stay tuned for more.